running all my life. Through time and space. One of Britain's most successful shows, The Legacy of Doctor Who, has enticed television audiences around the world. The Day of the Doctor. Whovians, Time Lords, and the legendary TARDIS. It can only mean one thing, the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, the longest running sci-fi show in history. With more than 1,100 tickets sold, excitement filled the room at the first Doctor Who convention on Long Island. <laughs> we had an exclusive interview with the celebrities from the iconic show. It was set up to encourage science and an interest in science in the 60s. President-elect of the High Council Sylvester McCoy played the Seventh Doctor in the 1980s. Defender of the laws of time. And people may know him as Radagasta Brown from the award-winning film The Hobbit. British kind of Star Trek. Actor Fraser uh, Hines played a companion of the second Doctor in 1966. This must be the machine that the intelligence intends using on the Doctor. Two of his missing episodes were found 45 years later. Yeah, when they found those two stories, I was over the moon. I have to tell your, your viewers, watch them in story order, Enemy of the World and then The Web of Fear. How, how Fans of the show are called Whovians, and they had a chance to meet the stars. This is the reason why I came to the convention to meet him and oh. Sylvester McCoy. Oh, bless it's great, you. yeah. Thank you. The doctor had many companions on the show. Actress Daphne Ashbrook played Dr. Grace Holloway. I know who I am. That's enough. It's like seeing family again. It's like a reunion, and and I love New York. It's called the Tots. This blue police phone box is a tortoise, the most recognizable symbol of the show. You think this is big, but it's much bigger on the inside. It's used as a doctor's infamous time machine and has been seen flying through space. This is my TARDIS behind me, dragged it uh, 2,500 miles. It's nine feet tall, four feet wide, and weighs more than 1,000 pounds. Lights and sound effects are run by an onboard Mac Mini. Doctor Who means so much to me because it's, it gives a positive uh, outlook to the future. The BBC network broadcasted the first episode of the show on November 23rd, 1963. And this year, on the same date, Doctor Who fans around the world would tune into the episode The Day of the Doctor, the show celebration of 50 years of adventures and exploring through infinite worlds in the blink of an eye. Night! The Smeen Mafus, Ebru News.